step into the enchanting world of an iconic movie from 1949 that has made a lasting impact on audiences. This timeless film is brimming with excitement, romance, and moments that will keep you on the edge of your seat. But what makes it truly memorable? Stay tuned as we uncover some surprising details. Did you know that despite its serious themes, there are plenty of humorous scenes tucked away in the movie? Prepare to be amazed by some behind-the-scenes revelations. And get ready for some heart-wrenching moments that will leave you reaching for the tissues. So, what keeps drawing people back to this classic film? Share your thoughts with us below. And don't forget to share your own special memories of watching this beloved movie. We can't wait to hear from you. Stay tuned for more intriguing facts about this enduring classic. In 1949, a remarkable film debuted on the big screen, capturing the hearts of audiences worldwide. It's a tale of love, betrayal, and strength set in ancient times, offering a captivating journey into the human experience. Upon its release, the movie became an instant sensation, drawing crowds to theaters eager to experience its visual splendor and powerful storytelling. It's not just about the actors or the plot. Rather, it's a portrayal of a distant era, exploring timeless themes that still resonate with audiences today. As you immerse yourself in the story, you'll be swept away on a mesmerizing journey filled with passion and intrigue. It's a narrative that lingers in the mind, leaving a lasting impact on viewers of all ages. And so, the magic of this timeless classic continues to enchant audiences decades after its premiere. In the glamorous world of Hollywood, where dreams come true beneath the bright lights, Cecil B. DeMille made history with not one, but two stars on the famous Walk of Fame. His impact on movies wasn't just big, it was huge, shaping how films were made. Meanwhile, Victor Varconi, a big name himself, found success not only in America, but also in Germany. He starred in a captivating movie called Der Tenzer Manor Frau in 1925, alongside Maria Korda. Their performance left audiences amazed. As time passed, one movie stood out, becoming the top earner of 1950 in the US and Canada, according to the Guinness Book of World Records. It wasn't just a movie, it was a huge success, loved by many. The history of movies and their successes continues to be remembered, each scene showing the power of human creativity and imagination. Samson and Delilah, an old story, was brought to life on screen for everyone to enjoy. In preparation for a definitive biographical book on actor George Reeves' life, actor Jim Beaver served as a historical consultant on a film about Reeves' death, Hollywoodland. Karen Morley, considered for a role in the 2003 Drew Barrymore film Duplex, was denied an audition by her grandson. Had she secured the role, it would have marked her fifth collaboration with a member of the Barrymore family. According to Henry Wilcoxon's autobiography, the character of the Saren, portrayed by George Sanders, was crafted after director Cecil B. DeMille's work ethic. Many of DeMille's personal statements were incorporated into the Saren's dialogue, notably in the ant farm scene and the scene where he admonishes his soldiers for failing against the captured Samson. In the world of entertainment, there were some remarkable figures who made a lasting impact. One such figure was Hedy Lamarr, an actress known for her beauty and talent. Alongside her was Angela Lansbury, a seasoned actress who didn't like the idea of a show reboot. She was relieved when the network decided against it. Another notable name was Julia Fay, a singer with a beautiful voice who trained extensively in Europe. Hedy Lamarr starred in several acclaimed films, including Samson and Delilah, where her portrayal of Delilah stood out. These stars, Hedy Lamarr, Angela Lansbury, and Julia Fay, each left a unique legacy in Hollywood, enriching the world of entertainment. Their impact is clear and lasting, a reminder of their incredible talents. The movie Samson and Delilah, released in 1949, boasts an interesting blend of historical accuracy and artistic interpretation. Margaret Field, the mother of physicist Richard Dryden Field Jr. and actress Sally Field, was married to Richard Dryden Field, the first husband of Margaret. The set portraying the House of Tubal, the father of Semidar and Delilah, was meticulously crafted to resemble a Minon palace, complete with inverted columns, floral frescoes, and intricate circle motifs. This design choice was inspired by the belief that the Philistines were descended from the Minons of Crete. Despite MGM's refusal to loan Hedy Lamarr to Warner Brothers for Casablanca, she starred as Ilsa Lund in a Lux Radio Theater adaptation of the film in 1944 alongside Alan Ladd and John Lund. These elements add depth and authenticity to the narrative, 
enriching the viewing experience for audiences. In the movie, a pivotal figure, Tom Tyler, displayed remarkable athleticism, having clinched the National Amateur Athletic Union Heavyweight Championships thrice and graced the 1928 Olympic stage. Notably, seven key contributors to the film were of Jewish descent, including the producer and director Sassel B. DeMille, along with esteemed individuals like actress Hedy Lamar and composer Victor Young. Among the cast and crew, Casey Rogers later transitioned into literary pursuits, crafting various books inspired by the television series Bewitched and Festive Occasions. Such diverse backgrounds enriched the narrative and production, reflecting a blend of talent and heritage. Incorporating characters from a 1930 novel, the 1949 movie Samson, and Delilah was a cinematic adaptation with depth. Casey Rogers, a talented performer from a young age, contributed her skills to the film. Meanwhile, George Reeves, known for his athletic prowess, executed impressive stunts in his roles. He seamlessly combined gymnastics with dialogue delivery, showcasing his versatility on screen. Their collective efforts brought vibrancy to the film, leaving a lasting impact on audiences worldwide. Critics often dismiss this movie as corny. During pre-production in 1948, producer and director Cecil B. DeMille expressed his pride in incorporating corniness into his films, citing its prevalence in American culture, particularly in the Midwest. Notable actors in the film include Frank Riker, known for his roles in anti-Nazi war dramas and classic ape movies like King Kong, and Angelo Rosito, a dwarf actor nicknamed Little Mo and Little Angie. Riker typically portrayed serious, unsmiling characters like professors and doctors, while Rosito specialized in unique, diminutive roles. Their contributions added depth to the film's cast and narrative. During filming, George Reeves, cautious around young fans of his show Adventures of Superman, once encountered a boy who aimed a pistol at him, testing Superman's invulnerability. Reeves persuaded the boy to hand over the weapon, averting potential harm. However, there is no concrete evidence to substantiate this urban legend. George Sanders shared the screen with Wendy Berry in five films. Victor Mature engaged in a passionate affair with Esther Williams during the production of Million Dollar Mermaid, offering her the love and attention she sought during a tumultuous time in her marriage. In the 1949 movie Samson, in Delilah, Russ Tamblin, known for his roles in several acclaimed films, appeared in six Oscar Best Picture nominees. One of these, West Side Story, emerged as the sole winner among them. Angela Lansbury, another prominent figure, shared a close friendship with the late Bob Hope. Lansbury delivered a speech at his memorial service in August 2003, commemorating their bond. Moreover, Lansbury and Hope collaborated on Bob Hope the first 90 years and even shared a musical moment together. Hedy Lamar, a significant name in the industry, had three children. Her son James Loder, born in 1939, was adopted by her husband John Loder, taking the surname Marky Lamar. These intertwining tales offer glimpses into the lives of notable figures connected to the 1949 movie Samson and Delilah shedding light on their diverse experiences and relationships.